friends, welcome back to day two of classroom setup. If you saw the first video, you saw that I set up this wall back here. And now for my next two walls. Like I said, I'm not gonna be doing my whole classroom. So I'm not going to be decorating this or these over here. But I am gonna decorate this wall. I'm gonna take the wood from my front wall and put it back here. And that's gonna be my writing wall. So even though the kids aren't in class, I feel like it's super important for them to still have a place in our classroom. And that way they can see that their writing is up. I can send them pictures. And that way they know it's for a purpose and I'm showing other teachers and our principal. So I think they'll really like that and it'll really encourage them to keep writing. Then over on this section, I'm also gonna take that wood and continue it all along here. So really this blue is gonna be the only major color in the classroom, the rest is gonna be that wood. So back here is gonna also be wood and then that's just gonna be more so my teacher stuff, calendar and whatnot. But then, when we move along this way, this is gonna be more of our classroom community wall. So I really wanna make a huge deal of birthdays this year and have just all of that posted there and just special student of the week and stuff like that. I'm just gonna try and do everything I can do for us to build those classroom relationships that we would normally build super quickly in our classroom outside of classroom. And I also really wanna show them that even though they're not here in our classroom, this is still 100% our classroom and I'm treating it as such. So with that being said, let's put up the wood on these walls and then I'm going to take some live photos and a welcome video in order to throw that up on our canvas. All right, that's enough of me talking, let's go. This is gonna have to be a two-parter because pretty much all I did today was put up that wall and then I had to film little videos in front of that wall. So that's what you see here. I filmed my little welcome video. I'll show it to you probably right now. Hi friends, my name is Ms. Blair and I'm your third grade teacher this year. I am so excited that you are in my class and I just want you to know that even though you are not physically in this classroom, we are going to have an amazing year and we're gonna have so much fun in our virtual classroom. So make sure at 8 a.m. you click that Zoom button because it'll take you straight to me and we can start class. And as for our virtual classroom, go ahead and click around. You're gonna find some links to some really cool games and fun activities. All right, well, I'll be seeing you guys soon. Welcome to third grade. So that's why I have this ribbon in my hair that does not match my outfit. And I just brought my shirt from Monday to wear because I like that it's school spirited. And yeah, I have my lights on because that makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. And why am I holding this? I need to set this down. Oh, speaking of which, my district dropped this off today and I guess it rises. So that's going to be a huge help with teaching because that's my thing. I've been looking for a stand that'll hold both of my computers. That way I can teach in the front of the classroom. Okay, but it is Friday, it is 3.30. I'm gonna go home. Well, I'm gonna go to the gym and get a little workout in because I need to relieve some of the stress. So this is probably gonna be a two-dayer. I'll see you on Monday. Okay, here's my struggle. It is 12.30. I have gotten nowhere have them in my desk either because we have to be logged on to these Zoom meetings literally all day. And I'm not a good multitasker. Like these people are talking all day, asking all sorts of questions and I can't like separate that and get stuff done. This is just anxiety and I just, I need to get stuff done. And so it almost feels like I'm sitting in my classroom from 8 a.m. to three just listening on a computer and stressing out. And then after three, when everyone leaves and I can unplug from everything, then I can do my stuff. When isn't the whole point of being in my classroom to get stuff done? Ugh. Okay, so I'm going to try to mute the meeting. Sorry, district, if you're listening. But if you want stuff done, that's what I have to do. 
So I'm muted, it's on extremely low, and I'm gonna try and get some work done. Let's go. It is not my day. Apparently I got a phone call halfway through, which shut off my camera. So I have that all done, even though you didn't get to see it. And it looks like I live in a cabin now, so I definitely have to add some color to it. All right, my meeting is still going. I checked in, same thing. So I'm just gonna continue and add some stuff here. Looks a little creepy. Okay, okay. I don't think I like my desk against that wall because it leaves me less space to work with. So I think I'm gonna actually turn it sideways like it was last year. And that way I have both of these boards to work with. Because if my desk is this way, it really cuts that off. So I don't have much space. So, I'm... so if I turn it, because plus all these cords technically have to go to my center desk anyway. So there's really no benefit of it keeping close to the wall. Yeah, side note, these are my Fabletics 780 leggings and I love them. Granted, I'm a little scared because I'm wearing all white, but I like it. Set up my desk first because I hate having this whole mess of cords just to decide, oh, never mind, let's switch it around and now have all these cords. That's for another day. I'm gonna keep going on the fun stuff. Okay, now we have to find what border would go well with that. I really like how our writing wall turned out, but I wanna do something different. It can't be the same, right? Or should it be the same? I don't know, okay. I got polka dots. I got cactus. This is goes that wall. I'm not touching this wall. That so cactus could work. Oh, polka! I have an idea for a little polka dot. So I know where I want that to go. Okay, it is 4.30 and I'm pretty sure I'm the last one here and I feel like I can finally think. So I'm probably gonna be here a while to get a lot of stuff done since I know tomorrow's probably gonna go the same way. But now I'm feeling really good, back to feeling positive. So let's do it. Also, I know you just watched me border this whole wall, but I decided I'm gonna re-border it because I think I like this for writing wall. Meaning this wall that I did, is not gonna be the writing wall after all. That used to be my math board and I think I actually like that. I think I'm gonna separate into like different subjects so I can have what we're learning in like math, ELA, writing, all that good stuff. I just think that'll be easier to access. And this board, it kind of works like my stuff, birthdays, and then flowing into their writing. So I think I see this flowing more. So let's re-border this.
done with the writing wall. I have to use my Cricut to make our little quilt above here, but I'm thinking it's gonna say a whole llama writing going on or something along that effect. I did have cactuses on here last year saying sharp work, but I don't feel like the bright cactuses really go with like these pastel colors. So sticking with llamas, I might redraw new ones that look more like llamas and less like bears, but we'll see. <laughs> it is 5.30, I'm gonna do a booting on heading home. Maybe I should try and rearrange some cords. I'm not sure, but I feel so much better that I got this done today. You know what, I'll head home, I'll get this up on Cricut, press it out, and that way tomorrow I can come have it up and I know my writing wall is good to go. Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. I don't know what day of classroom setup this is. I just feel like it's taking forever this year due to a bunch of meetings. Speaking of which, I have a meeting from eight to 10, but then I'm pretty sure I have all day on my own to finally complete all of this madness. So it is about 7.40 right now. I'm going to quickly pick up all of this Benjamin meeting and then we are going to finish up this writing wall. I actually brought my cricket. So that means we're gonna be able to get some quotes up on this wall, get that wall situated. The world's our oyster and we're gonna figure it out today. So I'm gonna set you down, clean up that mess, and then let's get today started. Been feeling trapped down on the floor. I don't know what for. Feels like I'm gonna lose. But I won't let the stormy seas fill me in open water. Let me have my peace and leave me till tomorrow. Wind into my sail. Away from things I let go, floating on the waves. Okay, that space is clean. Gotta clean the cords. I think my cricket is gonna go right there, and that's gonna be my little setup. And then after my meeting, I need to set up this desk as if it's that one. So all those cords and that mess that I hate is going to be over here. Okay, 10.05, meetings are done. Let's handle this cord mishap and get everything moved to my kidney table. We go bottoms up, we go all the way. When you're feeling down, push the pain away. We go bottoms up, we go all the way. And face this another day. We go bottoms up. Okay, the cord madness is complete. I was gonna do it straight to my board, but then there was too many cords right that direction. I would much rather know I'm teaching a pair, I don't gotta worry about tripping over any cords, and they're just all that direction. Okay, now I have my desktop and I'm trying to connect it to my laptop and see if we can get that going. If something tells me it's not gonna go smooth. Let's see. We go bottoms up, we go all the way. And face it another day. We go bottoms up. We go bottoms up. Okay, I have to go check how other teachers have their laptops and this thing set up because it looks like I either have the option to connect to my document camera or this guy, and I need both. So BRB. Okay, so I can't really do much more with my actual computer setup because I'm missing a cables to go adapter box. So I put in a work order and until then I'm going to make some stuff on my Cricut for our writing wall.
Why am I the way I am? That's, that's, okay. Okay. There we go. <laughs> is done this was a lot longer process than i anticipated but in my defense it was the first time i've ever used my cricut for anything like that so with that being said i think it's pretty good okay it's about 4 30 i think i'm going to head home or head to target because i really want to get cute desk stuff because normally it's like the least of my worries but because i'm going to be at my desk a lot i actually want it to be a kind of cute space also, I'm realizing, yes, I'm spending a lot of time on my walls and stuff like that. But at the same time, it's what makes me feel normal. It's what makes all of this chaos feel normal. And I need that right now. So yes, I'm spending time working on my canvas and creating that stuff. But this is all kind of a way to step away from that and do the mental processing. Like, okay, what is it that I want to do the first week? How is that going to look? What apps and programs do I want to use? I need that time. And I do that best whenever I'm doing something creative. So that is why. Plus, I can't work in a space that looks all like that. I can't do it. So I need at least half of this to be done for me, for my mental, emotional state to be okay. And it's not for nothing. These are gonna be purposeful areas that I'm gonna be using a lot for my virtual classroom. So I think this is about all we're gonna get for classroom setup. Cause I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with that wall yet, but trust me the minute I know what to do and start at it, I'm gonna film it and I'll let you guys know. But for now, I think that's it. Starting tomorrow, I'm gonna be purely focusing on my virtual besides getting my computer set up because it's not yet and that's a little stressful because I don't even know how to work the whole dynamic. Anyway, besides the point, we're done here. <laughs> All right guys, so this is it for classroom setup day two, three, and four wrapped up in one video. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.